Have you guys ever wondered what would happen if you can buy Pokemon cards for about 150 each pack? You end up just buying a whole bunch of them because they're so cheap. Squirtle! One day I actually decided to um, check out Costco. And I, like I said, I've actually seen um, like posts on Reddit where people have been getting cards from Costco. And I just, like I said, I decided to check one day and they actually had um, those those five tins for um usually they're like thirty dollars or forty dollars from what i've seen from pictures but for some reason my costco was actually selling them for about like 15 to 16 dollars um with some i guess in technicalities a lot of the tins with the evolving skies were all gone actually but even even so even with 15 dollars with the brilliant sky, uh, brilliant stars and um, Astro Radiance packs, those are those have some bangers in there too. So um, let's actually start opening them. <clears throat> so I actually opened one of these boxes um, not not too long ago. Um, yesterday, actually, um, and I actually when I went there. Um, and I found out there were $16. I actually went to go buy more. Um, today I went to buy two more because they actually only had maybe like five left when I left and um, decided to just, you know, um, just get these because I really, there's really some stuff that I don't have from Brilliant Stars and Astro Radiance. So I'm going to put these promo cards to the side here and these guys could take a while to open, so I'm gonna just open these guys real quickly. So you can you can see the tur like these tins have a really nice Vico coin, and then some of these um, description of the Pokemon of, of the tin. So it'd be cool. And then obviously they have these packs in here. Now some people believe like getting packs from tins isn't really that good because you know they have a uh, odds of getting you know damage while being with these tins but like as a, i'm not like kind of a psa grader i'm just kind of kind of like starting to collect so with these packs i feel like there's a chance to pull something really good from here especially when it's only about averaging like 150 per pack here um it's really weird because yesterday it cost 16 dollars for these things um and um when i got them or when i got bought them today they were they only cost 15 dollars so they actually went down by one dollar and in this time span here so there's none of Michael coin there and then lunch lacks cool huh and it's just really weird how they just keep decreasing prices on these things and maybe like no because crown zenith came out today they decided to just lower the price so people would actually buy them out and i guess that's that's why why they're doing it i don't know that's a that's probably not a good guess but <laughs> all right so here's all the brilliant stars from five of those tins and then Astro Radiance on these five. Right, let's just put this right here for now. Um, I'm gonna open up Astro Radiance first. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, what I really want from Astro Radiance, um, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm down for any um, secret arts, alternative arts. Um, can't we always, my camera's always getting um, blurry again, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm I'm just pulling for pulling, right? Because when I pull these, I, I never expect to get like, anything rare. Um, but if I can, I would like to get something really good. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if these can this can autofocus, but I guess at the moment it's really bad. So I'm just gonna go with the flow right now. One, two, three, four. Start off with a dark energy. 
Dark Tricks, Drift Bloom, Trekking Shoes, Wufflet, Ponyta, Chat Out, Bronzer, Rowlet, Bastion, and a Lilligant V. Wow, this one looks pretty nice too. It looks like, um, wow, it's like, it's, um, I'm not sure if it's a full art, but I have to check that out. But it looks really nice because I feel like I got a Lilligant V somewhere. Um, and I think that that wasn't her art. I, I think this might be the full art. So cool, man. I mean, starting out really good again. Put these on the side here. And I'm not sure, like I said, what's in these packs. So I'm just going to surprise myself with anything that could. Um, that could excite me here. And I mean, I'll probably show the cards on the video later on to see which, once I look at the list to see what I want. Um, I don't remember exactly what I want. It's pretty much anything goes here. Rowlet, Bronzer, Oshawott, Mantine, Rapidash. So let's hope that I can get something good here. I'm gonna try and speed this up real quick because if I, Keep doing this is going to be like a 30 minute video, right? <laughs> let's see, let's see what I can. Oh, this one's kind of packed weird. Do you, do you guys see that? It's like, um, well, maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, usually it's not packed like this, so I'm just going to just pull it out like this. All right, um, interesting. We got a cold card here. Oh, we got a Vista marker here. Uh, Polyswine. I'm gonna hold on this side real quick. Choi, Yamega, Sudorudo, Combi, Drifloon, Drifloon, yeah. Psyduck. Slido, Slido. Ooh, look at this Turner, Turner Gallery of Mightyana. And, oh, sorry. Got Ursaluna, which is. Something I got to sleep here too. There we go. Oh, that's not bad so far, actually. So far, it's been going pretty well. I only opened like three packs. I uh, already got a trainer gallery and a full art here. Full card. One, two, three, four. And let's keep going. We got skill energy, Kamado. Not towel, unidentified fossil, Scyther, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Togekiss, and Arita. Cool. Nice hollow. Let's put that right there. And open my last Ash Radiance here from this box. These tins, I would say. <laughs> Alright. Cold card. Four. Water energy. Grant. Electrode. Gutsy at pickaxe. Barboach. Scyther. Eevee. Aerocross. Mantine. Ursaring. And a non hollow Mighty Anna. Alright. So far, so good. I mean, I'm not complaining. But now I get to open the Brilliant Stars, which has, I think the only thing I kind of saw that I really wanted was this dude right here, the Charizard. There's a Charizard full art in there, or alternative art in there that looks really nice. But I pulled, I pulled a couple rainbows from um, Brilliant Stars already, and um, they look really nice. So I hope to get something like more Secret Wares or, um, you know, anything like that of that sort. But, you know, I'm just glad that I get to get to pull these guys. Oh, pull card right here. Oh, these are backwards, I think. So one, two, three, four. Psychic energy. Gloria. Monferno. Staravia. 
Bernie, Spiritomb, Magmar, Corefish, Sneasel, Choice Belt, and a Hollow, Hollow Rare Emporion. Empoleon, there you go. I mean, not bad. Just the first pack out of the way, we can open this one next. Oh, I think one of these packs actually has um, a trainer gallery for Starmie that had Misty in it. That one looked pretty nice too. Um, that might have been in the Astro Radiance pack, but um, like I said, I have to check that again. Um, we have five hard. Oh, did I do this wrong? I might have done five hearts. Dustclops, Morgrim, Hunting Gloves, Badoof, Electabuzz, Chameco, Gibble, Turtwig, and Starmie. Yeah, so that was a non hollow. <laughs> um, it happens, I guess. I might have counted too many. Too many. <laughs> so, let's open our next pack here. Code card. One, two, three, four. And the marker helps me count there. So we have the B Star Marker, Cynthia's Ambition, Jalen's Hair, Kachuyisu, the Skull, Primer, Chinx, Badoo, Electrobuzz, and Squirtle, Squirtle. And, ooh, look at this a Flygon V full art. Nice. Man, I remember back in Hoenn, I always liked getting Flygon as a Pokemon for part of my team. So this is actually really cool. Cool here. Let's put that in the sleeve. Yeah, what's that? And we still got two more packs here. Wow, these packs kind of look nice here. They're like, it's kind of white. It's like lighter, like, I mean, it's Brilliant Star, so I guess it's a kind of a lighter color. And it just looks nice overall. Four. Starting off with Fighting Energy. Arabia. Monferno. Gloria. Chimeco. Gibble. Turtwig. Oh, ignore my uh, Discord here. I might need to mute that there. Fracture and. Grimmsnarl. Well, so far, these pulls I have been pretty nice. Um, even though I didn't really get like anything like super extravagant, I'm just glad I get to keep pulling here. So we got a cold card that's kind of backwards again. One, two, three, four. Starting off with Electric Energy, Sharon's Care. Cynthia's Edition, Starmie, Nose Pass, Snorlax, Valtor, Lucino, Chimchar, Pearl, and a uh, Hollow Professor Research. Nice. Put that there. Now, that's not actually my last pack because I actually have. Another one! So I actually bought two of them from Costco today, so uh, let me open these real quick so we can save some trouble here. Alrighty, back at it again. We have our five brilliant stars here. No charts at this time. And then Astro Radiance right here. Cool. Alright, like again, I'm gonna uh, open up Astro Radiance again. Uh, I'm looking for these cards, per se. I mean, I'm gonna put them on the screen once I actually research them. Code card. One, two, three, four. And we're starting off with Fighting Energy. Spicy Season Curry. Gardenia's Vigor. Suian. Electro. Goldfish. Masculine. Luciana, 
Slamnia, Yanma, Hoot Hoot, and another Mighty Anna. So far. Opened up about 11 packs, and only gotten like about three things that were, that were okay. But we'll see. I still got nine more packs here to open. Let me just open these real quick. I feel like they're getting harder to open now for me because I'm not using it. I mean, opened a ton of these, and I feel like I'm still not getting used to them yet. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Energy, Armado again, Black Power, Fossil, Scyther, Burger B, Humbee, Chadot, Psyduck, and Non Hollow. Cool. So, let's put that. Oh, sorry. So, my bolt here has fallen down. <laughs> Next packs. Yeah, um, it was pretty quiet at Costco today too. Um, I guess everyone went to go pick up some of the Clown Xena stuff from today. Um, I mean, technically today of this recording is the 19th, so it hasn't really come out yet. But they actually showing up in stores recently. Um, Troy, Lava, Heavy Ball, Swina. Nicket, Petoli, Bergamite, Squido, Squido. Office. Ooh, look at this. Felinx Trainer Gallery. And. Shaman on Hollow. So this one's actually pretty nice too. So let's leave this. Well, yeah. While finishing my thought there. Um, yeah, I believe everyone's part trying to go get the new um, sets on the new. Um, packs for Crown Zenith and kind of kind of ignoring these at the moment. I mean, I wouldn't say they're ignoring it, but I had forgotten about that Costco has you have some cards as well. Well, at least my local Costco has it. You might they might not have any more from for some Costco's here. Okay. Four. We have Kick Troy. Pro Lava, Heavy Ball, Rough Blitz, Ponyta, Chadot, Bronzer, Growlit, Trucking Shoes, and a non hollow cool over overplay. Interesting. Put that there. And this is gonna be the last Astro Radiance for this pack, or for this box. And like I said, I'm not pulling my luck on getting any of the super ultra rares, but I mean, if I have a chance, this is my last pack here for Astro Radiance. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's what happened last time, right? So we have Dark Energy, Curlia, Dark Tricks, Driftwin, Ponyta, Rowlet, Bronzer, Astro Hearts, Hoot Hoot. Driftblim and a non hollow Mammal Swine. So, those probably weren't the best for me for Astro Radiance. I only gotten this for Lynx from that set. But we still got Brilliant Stars. Maybe my luck here will be in the Brilliant Stars pack. So, let's open these Brilliant Stars. And, like I said, I hope to get possibly that alternate art Charizard, which I believe everyone's looking for. <laughs> But you never know, it could just randomly pop up, right? I mean, this is why we open packs, because we get the joy of seeing something super rare get pop up. One, two, three, four. And, um, Arms Pride, Blunder's Policy, Luxio, Spirit Tomb, Axew, Imp Impident, Magmar, oh. Well, looks like I already showed you guys what's under there. We have and we have a Dust Snore Trainer Gallery. Can we double up on the next thing here? No, we can't. But I've been getting more Trainer Galleries here now, huh? <laughs> so far, they look pretty nice though. I really like 
the tri like the arts for this. Twenty dollars. Like they're probably not worth too much, but I will always I will put them in my collection. <laughs> All right, let's open the next one here. And yeah, um, I'm pretty excited for the next um, series of packs for Crown Zenith as well. Those actually have some really good um, looking arts on them, like the gallery. Uh, they're called Galarian Gallery, actually, instead of Trainer Gallery. So, oh, I'm going backwards again. Magma Bastion, Crawdon, Ultra Ball, Carablast, Weasel. Arucho, Thor, Magmar, Grimer, and a non holical Fable. Okay. Yeah, um, I actually will get those in pretty soon, and I'm probably, I'm most likely gonna record those, record those openings as well. And we're gonna open these first. I'm actually, I actually have some extra ones from these from Costco, um, but I'm actually gonna open them with my girlfriend too. So I'm saving that some of those for, with her. And he has condition, Starmie, Dusclops, Grimer, Duskull, oh, Farfetch, Yudene, Pubchu, Abriba, and Manaphy. So. Not looking good for the next packs here. I mean, there's two more left, so you never know. Like I said, you never know. Just keep opening these and hopefully something good pops up, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Have another dark energy. Those are really nice. Back up. Bubble pass. Flame Club, Yudene, Farfetch, Duskull, Grimer, Shin Squirtle, Squirtle. Ooh, look at this. Trainer Gallery, Yudene. Nice. Can we double up on the next thing? It looks like we cannot. But we have a. I think I just pulled like three Trainer Gallery galleries in a row. I mean, I'm not complaining. They look really nice. <laughs> And they look awesome too. Man. Oops. Oh, there it was backwards. Okay. This here. And this will be my last Brilliant Stars I'm gonna open for this video. Yeah. Um. If you guys, if you guys want to see if your Costco has them, they most likely might still have them. Um. I've seen pictures of them at. Um, still at Costco for thirty dollars in retail. Um, it just happened. It just happened that my my Costco was trying to get rid of them, rid of them at the last moment here and selling them half off of that price even. So yeah, V Star, Wigglyph, Marnie's Pride, Blunder Policy, Turtwig, Trapinch, Diplop, Shroomish, Purloin. Oh, and we're gonna end it off with a Sylveon V Max. Oh shoot, full R two. Oh man, I wonder how much this is worth. Oh wait, it's not a full R ultimate art, but it's a trainer gallery one because this is where he's well, the rare is supposed to be, right? So wow. Okay, this is part of my best pull for for today. I feel because Sylveon is one of my Favorite evolutions, or I guess she was my favorite evolution here. And I'm glad I got to pull her here. Let's put her in sleeve here. And dang. And as a recap, I will show you guys what I just pulled here. From about 20 packs, 10 brilliant. No, wait. Yeah, 10 brilliant stars and 10 astro radiance. So we pulled a Sylveon V Max. Um, or the trainer gallery is supposed to be, I guess. So I don't know what that count as. Dene, Dusnor, Blinx. All three trainer galleries in a row. Flygon V, Mightyana, and a Lilligant V. So, I'm not really complaining. I really love, like, looking at these arts and stuff. So this one's, like, probably my favorite one. 
So I hope you guys enjoy my pools and make sure you check your Costco's because those deals are crazy. Basically, I, I only spent about $30 opening about 20 packs. That's a lot of packs for just $30, so. Good. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a good one. Peace out.